when we're going to unmanned aerial vehicles and driverless cars, everyone's wondering why we're, we're still doing manned space flight. And it, I understand that it used to be that you could either have an unmanned flight or a manned flight. But now with work that DARPA is doing, the NIH, uh, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, now we have an in-between organs on chips where we can put parts of humans made from stem cells that can do various physiological functions. We can take data from them. We can make cellular computers. Have you ever thought about or is anyone discussing the whole idea of exploring the in-between between a manned space flight and an unmanned space flight? Hey, Scott, let me just add for a second. I think what Kit is getting, we, we talked about this the other day. And we talked about this the other day, and what he's referring to actually is maybe you send parts of people. Is yeah, that correct? Or, or organs on chips where you have specific parts of a human that are built from stem cells. You know, I, I've never heard that, and uh, actually I've never uh, thought so about I, so that So I win. Before. So it's I win the uh, question. Interesting idea. You know, when people talk about the advantages and disadvantages of, of human spaceflight versus uh, robotics, you know, things that are often brought up, and I, I would agree with this, and I think the people that do a lot of the robotics uh, uh, science, especially on Mars, will agree that, uh, you know, so far humans are able to do a lot more work than, uh, than robots. Now they, of course, need a lot more support, and you need to take care of them a lot better than you do robots. But the, uh, you know, the Mars rovers that have been operating on Mars for, for well over a decade now have done a the amount of science that uh, you know a few astronauts could have done there in a matter of days. So it's uh, you know there are, there are advantages and uh, and disadvantages to human exploration. I think certainly the uh, you know just the the romantic aspect aspect of it, the the fact that you know people are we are naturally naturally explorers. I think the uh, you know the motivation that provides for kids and uh, you know their desire to be educated in the science is also a, a factor with human exploration. But the question you asked ask is really a, uh, you know, a great one and one that I have never been asked before.